place I call home Every hope and dream I ever had In other lifetimes Without any doubt I keep choosing you Like a cool breeze on a summer day like a brightest star up in the sky Keep making me want him more Girl, you are what I am looking for Oh, I love you Love you in every universe Cause you'd always be the first wants to start a deep talk with my own. <laughs> Please do. Come, come, come to our little living room here. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm good. It's so good to finally see you in Indonesia again because yeah. we know that uh, yeah. Paul and wife Gita Sav, who is also a good acquaintance of mine, oh, that is amazing. is living in Germany Perfect. actually. Yeah, yeah. So you are here for a tour. For a tour. Yeah. Wow. How long will the tour be in Indonesia? So it's going to be for two weeks, mm -hmm. starting next week from uh, for, uh, September 14th until 22nd in Jakarta. So it started in Bandung, mm -hmm. and I traveled around uh, Jaffa, yeah. around Jakarta, and also Surabaya, mm. and then ended up in Jakarta. Wow, this is very yeah. exciting because um, I, I really, really love your songs. Oh, thank you so much. They're beautiful. It's like I even <laughs> told you, the so other much. Paul, our colleague earlier, you know, that P.S. I Love You yeah. is a baby-making song. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Tell us about your your EP, Lover's Playbook. What is it about? So Lover's uh, Playbook is actually a set of stories about someone who's currently in a relationship, mm. telling stories about 
what they feel when they're uh, so madly in love oh. and what they see from their significant others and also uh, every up and down, yes, you know, because cool. there's also uh, always like a problem, but there's like a result for it. So yes. all of it in one EP. Wow, all right. of it in one EP. I actually wanted to take a step back a little bit and mm -hmm. I'm curious about yeah. your journey, finding music, making music, because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you also write your own song. Yeah, that's true. So what's your story? So, um... So I start making music since I live in Germany. Mm -hmm. So after uh, after graduating high school, I I moved to Hamburg, Germany, mm -hmm. in 2011, I think. Mm -hmm. And I feel quite lonely there because <laughs> right. because uh, there's the first time like I'm I'm so far away from my family because I was a really family guy, like 24 hours oh. together with my family. And there's the time when I like. I don't know what to do, and, and I don't have really a lot of friends because I'm really an introvert guy. Yeah. Mm. So I try to like uh, pick up my uh, piano and then start making music in my computer, and then yeah, starting from there, and then. Uh, I have a follow-up question. Mm -hmm. Go yeah. on. What made you choose love as your main topic yeah. of the of your songs? Yeah. Because uh, most of my inspiration are from like uh, the stories from my friend about what they love from their a partner, what they love from their wife, what they mm -hmm. love from their significant others. Mm -hmm. And also, like, me personally, like, my wife is, like, my biggest inspiration. Oh. So even though, like, there's still, like, uh, some, some, some songs about um, me, myself, my mm -hmm. self-improvement, mm -hmm. about my, um, about, like, there's one song for, in, in my album, for Freude, there's in, in Deutsch, in, in Deutsch. German. Yes. Right. Uh, there's, uh, stories about um, what I'm going through through my own life, but mm. most of the stories of uh, my album and, and EP are about about my about my, my wife basically. About your wife. Aww. So P.S. I love you is about your wife. Yeah. So sweet. <laughs> it's like a love story for oh. my wife. Like, Postscriptum. I love you. That is so <laughs> darling. I love it. And the process of making this EP, how long did it take for you? And did you, write, of course, you wrote it in Germany. Yeah. What was the process like? Did you go to a studio or do you have a, your own little studio at home? So most of my music are made in my bedroom. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm a self-producer, but mm. I have a partner in Indonesia mm. that we go through like every every detail because I'm not a, like, um, I'm not graduating as a music uh, student yes. mm -hmm. and my partner is a music student so mm. she helped a lot uh, during this process like um, uh, so I, I create something and then I send to her and then she gave a uh, feedback and then mm. starting from there we try to finish it like in this EP I think it's only like two or three months Two or three That's months. Maximum. Is that quick or is that long? For me, it's quite quick because oh. <laughs> I'm quite a overthinking person. So oh. I try. Yeah, I'm. I'm quite ambitious. Also, like mm -hmm. I want to be perfect at mm -hmm. everything that I uh, create. Mm -hmm. But for this EP, I don't know. It's it's just it's just fast for me. Yeah. How do you see music making nowadays, Paul? I mean, mm. you know, sometimes we can see it from different spectrum, right? This yeah. really minimalistic. Yeah. Uh, but very intimate and very original, yeah. almost very organic way of yeah. uh, making music. Or there's always the other side of the spectrum, which is which tends to be overproduced, involving a lot of people. How do you see the, the, the current music producing trend and also in future? Uh, I think the trend is uh, leaning towards the first one, like mm. the mm. organic one. But yeah. it's not that I hate the second one. Yes. I, I love making like a big orchestral, like yeah. mm. the Ford Freude is like the really like with a lot of uh, strings. Yes. Like, Mm. Yeah, I, I, lo I love making music like that, but in this EP, I try to make it like more minimalistic, more toned down, more mm. like a slow jam kind of vibe. Mm. So yeah, I think it's more personal to like people mm. who's, who's listening mm -hmm. yes. and it creates like a story that people can relate more, yeah. I think, when it's more like simple and then minimalistic. It what? is true though, because yeah. I see this trend as well. For example, I, I love listening to jazz. Are you yeah. familiar with yeah, Melody Gardot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Melody Gardot recently also uh, released an album where it's mm. literally just her singing and a pianist. And that's oh, it. Yeah. It's super minimalistic, but I just love it. It's just super pristine. Yes, yeah. Rasha, you were gonna ask. No, I was ask, I'm curious, what's, who's your inspirations in making this music? Mm -hmm. 
Most of it is my wife, but... Uh, like any musicians musician. that you try to... Oh, I, like, I, that give you inspiration? Oh, it's, quite, it's quite hard to, like, <laughs> pinpoint just one person, but I have, like, a lot of influence from... Um, from Stevie, of course, Stevie mm. Wonder. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I love, I love yes, him. please. It's like, I think it's he's my my uncle. I always oh, call yeah. him Uncle Stevie, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uncle but Stevie. I never All met right. him. Yeah. And also like a lot of uh, influence from jazz, uh, from from Snarky Poppy, from mm. Corey Henry, also Jacob mm. Collier, and also oh, I listen to a lot of uh, K K music, not K pop, but like uh, mm. like Zion T Crush. Ooh. You guys heard about it? No. So check it out. They, they, they are uh, like a lot of my background music, a uh, background vocal uh, arrangement mm -hmm. are like based on their music actually. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. So you said that you were an overthinking person yeah. and you're very <laughs> ambitious. Yeah, yeah. Tell us more about your songwriting process mm -hmm. and what does it mean for you? Uh, songwriting is quite hard for me because I'm not really like... Um, my wife always uh, always angry at me because I don't know how to like express what's what's in my mind. Mm. Mm. Right. So so I try to create a song about it. Yeah. And there's the first song that I open this uh, open the show the do 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 do. It's like literally about like someone who's uh, who's who who doesn't know what 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 is inside their head when they're out, uh, with their significant other. Mm. Oh, what's in their brain is just do 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> I have that. So actually. I ended up creating <laughs> songs like that, like really literal, literally what's in my yeah. head, mm -hmm. like nothing. So do 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 do. Yeah, especially when you're in love. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can't think. Yeah. You can't think when you're in love. <laughs> so so what is the process like for you? Yeah. Normally I tr I, I I write starting with the melody mm. uh, when I taking a shower or like like taking a bath, like sometimes the melody comes up and then mm. I reach my phone. So I, I always have my phone when I yes. go to the bathroom mm -hmm. yes. and then I like uh, uh, record the melody and then next time when there's like a like a uh, phrase that mm -hmm. I really love mm -hmm. and then I try to write it. Uh, the P.S. I love you one is actually, I already finished like the 75% of the song uh -huh. and I go through the movies yes. and I go to uh, I go to watch uh, Doctor Marvel uh, and okay. Doctor Strange. Oh wow! Yeah, and there's the fr and there's this phrase like I love you in every universe and like, wow, that's oh. really cool. Mm. I think I think I can use it in this song that I already wrote and I use it and then I don't know it gets really a uh, positive response from yeah. friends from yeah. social media because yeah. I upload it first in my uh, TikTok I think yeah. or Instagram yeah. and then they're like. You have to finish the song, you have to finish the song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, but that, that is amazing, taking mm. your audience through your journey before yeah, it yeah. finishes. I think it makes it more relatable. So how do you leverage or how do you see your relationship with your audience through different channels of social media? I really love like uh, involving my audience in part of the uh, creating part because it's really like making it uh, more fun for me and yeah. also more fun for them. And also more re relatable, of course, yeah. for, for them. Yeah. And that's why I, I always like involve them in this. Even in this tour, I try mm. to like ask them which cities should I visit, <laughs> and then I try to like uh, to like uh, to go to the city that they mentioned. So. Now, speaking of which, mm -hmm. so tell us more a little bit about your tour. What yeah. to expect, right? Because I am planning to watch this match <laughs> live right. with, with your husband. No. Yeah, of course, with my husband. On the 22nd of September. So what, what, what can I expect, you know, as an audience uh, member? So the concept of this tour is like, uh, the, the title is Homecoming Tour. It's mm. like, uh, Homecoming is like, uh, have, a, have a second meeting. The first meeting is like, when you go uh, to your uh, high school or your university mm. after you're graduating. Mm. And the second one is like, uh, the literal one, the homecoming, like you go <laughs> back to your country I go back to my 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 homeland my uh, my 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 country land mm -hmm. my, uh, Indonesia so this uh, this tour is gonna be like uh, the audience gonna come to my my living room basically so I try to make wow. it the stage is gonna be like a living room so the audience gonna be the host and we are like the uh, no they're gonna be the guests and we're yeah. gonna host them so this yeah. one is the one in which city 
All of them. <laughs> it's going to be like that, the concept. Wow, yeah. so oh. it, including the one in Jakarta. In including Ismail. the one in Jakarta. So my bandmate, uh -huh. I'm going to call her like my ho housemate. Cool. Yeah. We're going we, we're gonna to interact with each other. And so it's not only me, but yes. also my uh, band member and also wow. like two other performers, Abdil and Amira Karin. Wow. Well, I really like the intimacy that you're trying yeah. to create there not only go. with your writing, there music, you but even like with the concept yes. of it all. Yeah. Mm. Shall we do a little game, Paul? Sure. Russia? <laughs> yes, of Mom course. Did. Because, you know, Russia earlier mentioned about, you know, your songwriting process and everything. So we're going to challenge you. We're going to okay. we're gonna have five words on the screen. Okay. And we would like you to make a song from okay. the five words here. There, there you go. Oh, that's cool. Dancing We Tomorrow River Smile. Voila. Wow. There you go. Okay, I'm going to pick up my guitar. OK, first. yes, yes, how exciting. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's so. amazing to see a professional do this. Like, I would never I know. be able uh, to do Should this. I? I don't know if the I think it's cable connected. can reach. Maybe you can stay there. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Your mic, your mic, I'm just going to go across. <laughs> And then put this mic here so you can start grooving it. Voila. Thank you. Is that good? Yep. So, dancing okay. with tomorrow, river, and smile. <laughs> let, me, let me try it. <laughs> so, normally I start with a melody, so like. Yeah, go on. Okay. Mm, okay. I'll open it. Yes, please do. You can get rid of your mask. You make my day. So bright, we dance under the moonlight. Spend every second, oh, like there's no tomorrow. My love flows like a oh river. Oh, I keep falling for. 